So we're going to talk about L-glutamine and leaky gut and, and its role, our potential role in, in helping leaky gut. I'm Dr. Rutherford. Uh, I am a, a practicing uh, functional medicine doctor, certified functional medicine doctor here in Reno, Nevada. This is uh, Dr. Gates, my partner in crime here. He is a board certified functional neurologist and uh, we... Board certified chiropractor. I, I keep saying that. Yeah, we're both chiropractors. Also, mm -hmm. we both have we're both licensed chiropractors, and uh, and and so we we have a practice in which we deal with a lot of chronic problems, uh, a lot of chronic pain problems, and our experience has been that the gut <laughs> is a big player in a lot of chronic chronic problems. As a result, um, we have our we have our opinions on protocols that work and that don't work for leaky gut. Uh, leaky gut pretty, can be pretty complex. Um, it, there's so many factors that can contribute to a leaky gut. And uh, L-glutamine is a healing agent that is being promoted by a lot of people out there and a lot of vitamin companies out there as something that can heal a leaky gut. Um, certainly we've used and use L-glutamine under certain circumstances in conjunction with um, dealing with whatever aspects of multiple factors that can be creating that person's leaky gut. So maybe I would, I would defer that over to Dr. Gates. Dr. G Gates does most of the direct treatment here at, at our clinic, and I think he can give you some insight into, into what you're looking to find out. Yeah, intestinal hyperpermeability or leaky gut syndrome is an incredibly complex phenomenon that is being shown to be associated with a variety of diseases from metabolic syndrome to diabetes to prediabetes to autoimmune diseases uh, with widespread ramifications um, beyond just celiac disease. Now, if you have leaky gut syndrome, you're going to take L-glutamine. Yes, we have observed patients where that can help, can help marginally. However, it's more of a band-aid than anything, in my opinion, right. in our opinion, because you're not addressing the underlying cause, really. Yes, you're going in and trying to heal the gut with the algodamine. It's a healing agent. It was popularized in the bodybuilding circles for helping guys to recover after their heavy weight training right. sessions. However, leaky gut syndrome is in a universe of its own. We're finding that there are these bad bacterial populations that are located in the gastrointestinal tract and these bacterial populations can create inflammation in the GI tract which then can lead to uh, the intestinal barrier breaking down. The guy wires that bind the cells of the intestines together are termed zonulin and occludin, just details for you, but those proteins can start to break down and then bad bacterial components can float into the bloodstream and now we have this leaky gut syndrome. As Dr. Rutherford and I talked about yesterday, leaky gut syndrome now is pretty much irrefutable, especially as it relates to things like diabetes and other autoimmune disorders. But what you with leaky gut syndrome needs to know as well is that not only can bad bacterial components flow through, but now the literature is talking about food molecules leaking through. So let's say you're eating some rice and you have a immune intolerance, not an allergy, but an immune intolerance to that rice protein. Now that rice protein is floating into your bloodstream where it shouldn't be, it should be in your gastrointestinal tract where it should be broken down into building blocks termed amino acids. But now this rice protein is in your GI tract and well, what that rice protein looks like X tissue in your body, then your immune system starts attacking that tissue as well. And that is what these immunology journals are talking about, and that is what these diabetes journals are talking about. And we did a broadcast today on metabolic syndrome, diabetes, and insulin resistance as it relates to the gut. And we attached something like 28 articles to that to that broadcast, and we highly recommend you go and watch that. It's on powerhealthtalk.com because it's really a great explanation of what we're doing relative to the gut. Yeah. So glutamine is, 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 if you've taken it and you've gotten some temporary relief, that's a good thing. I'm not telling you to stop taking it. You have to understand, I mean, our, our clinic is kind of where, for us, the rubber meets the road relative to if the patient gets better or not. And there's, what Dr. Gates has said is so true. There's just so many factors involved. Stress can be causing your leaky gut. Um, if you have a leaky gut, we have a lot of patients that come in here and 
I have researched. <laughs> I've researched leaky gut, and I've seen that glutamine can help, or uh, or aloe vera can help, or what. There's there's a number of things that are healing agents that can help. But the reality, or I've gotten off of gluten, or whatever, and 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 I've used glutamine. That, I, so I, I want to throw the glutamine in with all of this because I think it's a salient. I think it's an important point for you to understand. You know, people are out there selling things. We're not anti-vitamin. We're not anti-drug. We're for what works. Okay, we're not medical doctors, but we use an integrated approach in certain cases. And for a leaky gut. You need to figure out what's causing the damage and what's perpetuating the damage. Dr. Gates talks about bacteria. Food allergies are involved. There is damage to the gut. Parasites can be involved. H. pylori can be involved. Stress, overreactive stress mechanisms for all you adrenal fans out there who, who you know, it's the adrenal glands. All of that is involved. So if you're taking, if, so if all of that is a problem and you're taking uh, glutamine or L-glutamic acid or whatever you're taking, um, it, it's you may get some temporary relief, uh, but but really in the long run the chances of you getting any long term relief from that in our experience are pretty much zero and none. It's going to be as Dr. Gates stated a band aid. So I hope that helps you if you're in the process of using it and it's not working. That's why if it's working and it's giving you some temporary relief, good. Keep taking it. It's not going to hurt you. But if you're taking it and it's giving you temporary relief and, and you're really motivated to get it done, you need to start looking at the other things that we just got done talking about. Okay? And if you would like to watch any more videos, go to PowerHealthTalk.com. We also did one on autoimmune disorders that specifically relates to leaky gut syndrome. It's an hour long. We have some pretty cool articles attached there in regards to rheumatoid arthritis and diabetes type 1. So okay. thank you for watching. <laughs>